I wake up promptly at 4.30, 5.29, and 5.50 every day. But today just happens to be a Saturday, so I promptly fall back asleep. About two hours after the sun has risen, my eyes open to daylight trespassing into my room. Although all night I have not moved much from my original position, my five minutes in bed stretching always seems to create a massacre out of my blankets. Clumsily falling out to bed and then trying to make it to the bathroom is always like an obstacle course for one sleepy mind to overcome. Somehow managing not to fall back asleep on the toilet, I succeed in making it back to my room. I enter my room, turn on my computer, and make my bed. computer would have been fully loaded by this amount of time, but no, I had to sit there fighting with my computer to stop showing the welcome sign and that there is a lot more to life if it would just move on and change its screen to the main desktop. Bringing up the interweb sometimes is a whole other task for my computer to accomplish. The main thing is that it tries. Luckily today the interweb was a fast connection and I could get onto Farmville right away. I harvested and replanted a whole set of crops in a few minutes. If only life really was this way, then who would know what world hunger was? At about 10-ish, my legs start traveling the rest of my body around the neighborhood. Once these legs of mine feel accomplished, I realize that it is time for four-legged running practice. The reason for four-legged running practice is that I feel that if something were to happen to the human race and I were to be a survivor, it may become necessary to run on four legs. Running on four legs allows for each limb to be used equally to carry oneself to a faraway destination. The day is still early, but alas, I need a rest. I sit against the side of my bed, bouncing a Pikachu bouncy ball against the wall and catching it. The concentration on the bouncy sphere quickly shifts my mind into intense daydreaming and future planning. 12 o'clock, my city practices their tornado siren, causing me to run for cover. I hide in my basement with my head covered. After a while, I pull out my iPod to double check the weather just to make sure there isn't a real tornado at the same exact time that my city is supposed to practice their siren. So far, there haven't been any real ones at the same time, but I like to keep safe just in case. My weekly job, now that spring has sprung and grass has sprung too, is mowing the lawn. Being as that attacking the constantly growing grass uses a powerful weapon, I take minor precautions. For the fact that my weapon is dangerous enough to take off limbs, I feel like a real risk taker. I bet the neighborhood kids think I'm a real tough guy. As I rest in front of the TV, debating whether to play hula hooping, biking, or canoeing on our new Wii, an unpleasant scent swarms my nose. Staring off into the distance, contemplating what on earth it could be, I came to the realization, it was me! God bless the world for creating deodorant. Too bad it was forgotten on me. Instinctually knowing what my mother would say, I led myself straight to the shower without complaint. Being late and all, along with a busy day, I collapsed on my bed with my arms securely under me, and soon I rested asleep.